Hi everybody, happy Monday! It's a new week. I've worked with ink today. But uh, let me very quickly tell you about the weekend. So, Saturday, we recorded Gamers Couch, everything was fine, was, was normal, nothing fancy there. But then Sunday, we were actually planning to have game night and I was already preparing dinner and everything. And then something happened. We had a guest at the balcony and saw a tiny, tiny squirrel sitting in the sun. And I'm adding photos of uh, the stuff, the squirrel, to uh, this vlog here so you can see. If you follow us on uh, Instagram or Twitter or Facebook, you've probably already seen it. Um, so yeah. Um, saw that squirrel and was like, oh, cute. We do have a lot of squirrels around here. But uh, then passing the balcony like 10 minutes later and the squirrel not having moved was kind of weird. So we checked the little dude out and saw, oh, he had a bloody nose. So he definitely had fallen probably out of the nest. So we're, we're not exactly sure. And uh, well, then we just went to the net, internet and saw, hmm, what you gonna, what do you have to do when you find a squirrel? What's, what's wrong? If, uh, whom do you call? Uh, or is there somebody who can help you out? So we found out that, um, oh, my nose, that there's this, thing called a uh, squirrel emergency um it's it's like a like a humane society kind of thing and uh, they have a whole list on uh, the first two steps when helping out a tiny squirrel and it seems uh well we <laughs> let's start over so we uh, checked out the webpage and got a shoe box with lots of old t-shirts in there, some apples, some pine nuts, water, and saw and tried to get the squirrel warm and comfortable and because it was squeaking like like crazy, so um it was panicked and probably had pain um so. We just uh, put her in the shoebox for a while and just, well, try to calm <laughs> the squirrel down, which didn't work so much. It worked only when uh, I had her in my hand, like body warmth was the thing the squirrel wanted. And then it calmed down to the point that we could, again, prepare some apples and try to feed it and stuff. but. It didn't work and then meanwhile Tina came over um, and took care of little squirrel while we checked out the net some more and called the rescue station for squirrels in our city. And uh, back and forth, back and forth, um, talking with the lady there and uh, sending photos and checking. She said, uh, well, it, it would be cool if you could bring the squirrel. Um, it's definitely malnutrition, something's wrong. So we packed up little squirrel and we named it for then. We called it Fridolin, which is a German male name. We thought, oh, come on, because we're used to squirrels, like I said, and we have one that we called Felix and he's a grown up squirrel and he came by for years and years and years every year. This year, not. Maybe it's the mom or the dad and Felix is actually a girl too. We don't know. But um, yeah, the tiny squirrel then called Fridolin was, uh, well, calming down and we brought her to the lady of the rescue station. And uh, first thing she said, oh, she it's, it's really malnutritioned and fed her some milk and stuff where we didn't have the equipment to help at, ha at ha our house. And uh, then on the uh, questionnaire from bring for bringing the squirrel in, it said um, gender. 
And we're like, we don't know. We gave it a male name. Maybe it's a boy. And the lady checked and it's a girl. So we changed the squirrel's name to Frida, which is the closest to Fridolin when it came to naming little baby squirrel. She's probably two weeks old. And she's really, really, I mean, I have tiny hands and she fit in my whole hand. She was really, really tiny. So we left her with the lady of the rescue station and got photos meanwhile. And uh, yeah, passed some money along for charity to help out that rescue station for squirrels. And uh, Frida is feeling pretty well today. Uh, she's way less panicked, she's calmed down and the nose is healing up and stuff, so yeah. That was Sunday. <laughs> and after that, after we were home, we, we drove like 40 kilometers. <laughs> so 20 kilometers one, one way uh, to get Frida to the rescue station and took us like two or three hours to figure out what to do and really help Frida. Um, but once we were home, we were sitting there like, now oh, it's so quiet. It's kind of lonely. Come on, let's play board games. So we did, like we were supposed to on Sunday. We played uh, Trocarian and uh, yeah, it's not the last time that we played this game. It's It was a cool night. So today, uh, of course, I had to, um, well, paint the thing that we had on Sunday, that situation in my art journal today. And I also finished up all the other paintings for the next week. So you can check. Let's see. There is... Ooh, I hope it's in screen. Yeah, there it is. This is Frida. Or at least this will be her when she's grown up. Uh, our Frida is way smaller. Uh, this is the Friday painting that uh, I made and uh, then we have, let me, this is the Tiny Tuesday, very tiny, very Tuesday. And last but not least, uh, the Toka Challenge that I just finished recording and this is a reworked painting. So yeah. That's been the day so far. I'm working with ink. It's May, which is totally cool. Uh, but I have way more dirty hands after I finish working than I do have with other media. Gotta get used to that again. And now I'm just uh, gonna start editing and um, then watch Outlander tonight while Daniel and Tina watch Game of Thrones. And yeah. Just finish out the night. My chin is hurting like hell because for whatever reason my skin thinks I'm a teenager and has to have some, well, I don't know, angry pimple kind of thing going on. It's really hurting. It annoys me. But yeah, that's life, I guess. So I think, I think that's that for today. I will see you tomorrow. Hey guys, happy Tuesday. So uh, today, what did I do? I did voice over um, the videos of last night and uh, already uploaded them. So I will uh, go on scheduling and uh, preparing the blocks for next week tonight while Tina will be painting here. And uh, then Daniel's mom was here for a short visit and uh, we played a round of diamonds and uh, then I did make my documented lab projects which I'm going to show you footage for now. <laughs>
the two paintings that I did. This one was make something with the color you avoid. I don't actually avoid any colors but I hadn't used that particular blue in the watercolors a lot. So I did take this one to have a tiny little pocket card kind of a sketch for my or thingy for my um, calendar. And this one here was uh, incorporate numbers and well, I did take the zero and one for binary language because I've been playing a lot of um, painted back on my computer while stuff was rendering. So I thought that would fit. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go scheduling and blogging now. Nothing else is interesting here today. Oh, yeah, no, there there was. Uh, this morning, Daniel found another tiny squirrel on our balcony. It's probably the sibling of Frida, and uh, he or she didn't make it. So we, well, we had a tiny little squirrel death on our balcony. We couldn't do anything about it, uh, probably was already killed by the fall uh, out of the nest or something. But yeah, scroll Frida now is an orphan without a sibling. I don't know if she has any siblings from earlier. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna edit. I'm gonna 
blog I'm gonna schedule and later we'll chat with Tina while she's painting. Draw for initiative, paintings to come. Happy Friday! Last day of the video, we just recorded Gamer's Couch. That's because you're, that's why you're in the setting here. I didn't record the last two days because Wednesday, uh, it was just housework day, so nothing fancy to show. And yesterday I simply forgot. So Tina was here and we painted two more games for Draw for Initiative and uh, yeah, then watched movies in the evening. She slept at our house. It was bank holiday here, so she had some time to, well, spend with me in the studio. And he's just looking weird because he actually wants to stand up and I don't let him. I did not agree to this. Oh, I'm sorry. The camera was switched on against my... Will? Because it's my camera and my vlog, so deal with it. You married me, I'm cleaning your laundry and you got the dinner cooked. I love you too. So yeah, that was that. And today, Honey and I went uh, shopping. We got some new plants for our house and balcony and stuff. And we had to, well, we got a, a new plan for the hallway. Because I killed the old one, probably. I don't know, maybe. There's no witnesses there, but yeah, we needed some new uh, plants and other stuff. So we went shopping today and um, yeah, now I'm just gonna go edit. First of all, this video, then the gamers couch. I'm gonna have a glass of red wine with it because it's Friday night and, and I earned it. And uh, tomorrow my mommy will come over. We it, we will have game night and sushi with her because Sunday is Mother's Day, so it's her gift that we take out some lovely sushi and play games with her. It's our gift for my mommy. I think we would have done that even without it being Mother's Day. Yeah, but it's it's an excuse to have her over this weekend. It's like you gotta come over because it's mommy's day and we. Um, <laughs> We'll have some sushi with you because you want to try it and we will play board games because we all like to play board games. Anyway, and then Sunday it's game night, which means I'm only going to be back on Monday with the next vlog, Woo -hoo -hoo. because then it's back to the studio and no camera shy people with me. So yeah, that's that. And now we're going to say bye. Say bye, baby. Say bye. Bye everybody. To all the good YouTube stuff. And I'm gonna see you on the next video. Take care. Oh, by the way, we uh, recorded Gamers Couch for Legends of Andor. So that's gonna come out tomorrow. The uh, Journey to the North edition. Don't scare him away. Um, so check that out tomorrow on the channel if you wanna know about that game. And now, say bye. Say bye. I'm gonna make you say bye. Say bye. <laughs> you gotta love him, right? Bye. Say bye. Now, <laughs> now don't say it in Sarah. It, say it in English. Bye. Bye 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 bye. Go away. Go away. It's like who away. Bye. Bye.